Hi everyone, it's Tish with Naptime Creations. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. It's free and it'll help me out a lot. So hit that subscribe button. Today we're going to be making a resin tray in this gorgeous kind of geometric shape heart mold. So let's jump in and get started. I have five different colors of glitter here. I'm using the liquid diamonds resin today. It's great for projects like this because it's a very thin viscosity and has hardly any bubbles. I went ahead and mixed up my resin off camera just to save time, but if you're new to resin and you want to see a tutorial showing step by step how I mix my liquid diamonds, I will link one of my tutorials down below in the description box. Um, in that video, I show you step by step how to mix your resin. So if you haven't seen that, definitely go check it out. I'll link that video down below. So I'm using five different colors of glitter here, and I'm using these pouring cups from Let's Resin. They're great for projects like this because you can get a nice controlled pour with them and get into fine details in your molds, just like this one. And when you try a project like this, you you're gonna wanna kinda underfill the mold because the resin is gonna spread out and level out. So pour slowly, underfill it, let the resin kinda level out, and you can always go back and add more if you need to. And before I went in and started pouring these, I did take my little stir stick and mix it up one more time, just because when you're working with glitter, a lot of times it'll sink. So I just went ahead and mixed each of my colors before, again, before I went in and started pouring. Um, if you don't do that, you'll start pouring and you'll notice most of your glitter is sitting on the bottom of your cup. So just give it another mix and then go in and start pouring right away. I didn't really have a plan when I started this project. I did count how many little triangle cavities were in the mold and then divided it by how many colors I was going to use. And that way I had an idea of how many little triangles I should do of each of the colors, if that makes sense. So that way there was a good variation of each of the different colors I was using. And I did do a little oopsie. You're going to see that here in a second. I overfilled this spot right here and the black kind of went over into the blue, but don't worry. You can't even tell at the end that I did this and I'll show you how I kind of fixed that here in a second. And that was it for layer number one. Super easy. Let it dry. This is the next day. I'm going in with some black holographic glitter mixed with clear resin. Just filled up the mold the rest of the way. This mold does not take a ton of resin because it's Thin. even though it's really big it's eight inches across it doesn't take a ton of resin I want to say it took about 10 ounces total for this entire mold which isn't too bad I let it dry here we are ready to take it out of the mold here's how it turned out see that top right spot right there where I messed up you honestly can't even tell and that was because I used a darker color to fill in the second layer that really kind of helped hide that little oopsie but to avoid that from happening if you guys try this just take your time and pour really slowly and um, you won't have a oopsie like I did but I really love how it turned out what I will do is just install some clear rubber bumpers on the back of this and it'll be good to go as a tray be really pretty on like a table for candles or perfume or you could even drill two small holes in the top, attach a chain, and it could be a pretty wall hanging. Let me know what you think. I hope you guys give this a try. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, Naptime Creations. And as always, I'll link all the materials down below in the description box. And I'll also include any coupon codes that I have. I hope you guys are all doing fabulous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon for another video.